Hello, my kindergarten friends. It's Miss Richardson. If you don't know me, I teach kindergarten at Houstonville Elementary School. And we miss our kiddos so much, and I know you miss your teachers, but hopefully some of these lessons will help. So, what I need you to do is go get a pencil and your packet for day 30. So, go do that real quick. You need a pencil and your packet. All right, I hope you have it. So today we are talking about key details. All right, you know, every time we read a story, the teacher or your parents, they always ask you a lot of questions about it. And that's to make sure that you understood everything that was happening in the story, okay? Key details are important parts of the story, all right? For example, who is in the story? And if you're in my class, we do something for character, and we go, the character is who the story is about, okay? And you may do something similar in your class. What is the story about? What's it mostly about? Where does it take place? And when does it take place? And that's called the setting, and we do that in our class the setting is where and when the story happens. So, also you ask the question, why? Why did something happen? And how did something happen? Or how does something work? Okay, like putting things in order. What happened first? What happened next? What happened last? And that's called sequencing put it in order okay so those are the questions that we ask when we read a story you may have a nonfiction story like this one about a trip to washington dc and it has real events it has real places and then you may have another story like froggy gets a doggy and this is a fiction story it has pretend characters and events, okay? The story we're looking at today is called Lazy Days in the Trees. And you should have this in your packet that you're looking at. Mine doesn't have the best picture quality, but that's okay. As we read, I want you to think about some questions, okay? Who it's about, what it's about, where did it happen? When did it happen? Maybe they explain why something happened and how, okay? Let's learn about sloths. Do you know anything about sloths? There are a couple of movies that I like that have sloths in them. This is a nonfiction story about real live sloths. So let's read. You can read along with me. Just take your finger and put your finger on the first word and read as I do, okay? You don't, you won't know all the words, but you may know some of them. Tree life. Trees are important to sloths. Sloths live in the treetops of rainforest. So where do they live? In the treetops of rainforests. The animals climb trees. They eat the leaves. They curl up in the branches to sleep. And the caption says, a sloth lives in the trees. So where do they curl up? In the branches. Trumpet trees. What are trumpet trees? Let's ask that question. Some sloths like the trumpet tree. It looks like an umbrella. Hmm. A trumpet tree has a long trunk and large leaves. And there's a sloth eating the leaves. How cute. Sloths eat the juicy leaves. They hang on the tree while they eat. And you have that right in front of you so you can look at the pictures too. Are you following along? You can put your finger on this word. Long, strong claws. Sloths hang onto trees with their claws. So what do they use? Their claws. 
Their claws are sharp and long. They bend like hooks. Claws help sloths hang from branches. Sloths use them to grab and eat leaves. They use them to move around. Sloths use their claws to eat and climb. They are just so cute, aren't they? This page is called Slow Days. If you've ever seen a movie with a sloth in it, you know that they move very slowly. The word sloth means lazy. It is a good name for these animals. Sloths take a long time to move a short way. They're the slowest animals on earth. Did you know that? Sloths are the slowest animals on earth. Sloths move slowly in the trees. We are learning a lot about sloths. Did you know? Let's find out. When sloths are not moving, they are sleeping. They sleep 20 hours a day. Can you imagine sleeping 20 hours a day? That means you would only be awake for four hours every day. They only climb down when they need to poop. They do that once a week. Then they go back to resting in the trees. So sloths spend most of their lives sleeping in trees. Interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that story. I know I learned a lot about sloths. Hopefully you did too. In your packet after the story, you are going to see some worksheets with questions to go with it. So now is the time for you to sit down with your parents, or if you want to do it later, if whenever you have time, um, read through the questions, have your parents read you the questions, and you can learn all about sloths and answer the questions. Where do they live? Where do they sleep? What do they eat from a trumpet tree? What do they use to climb trees? What do they use to hang from branches? How do they move? Why do they come down from the trees? And what do they do most of the time? So, all those questions started with who, what, where, when, why, or how. And that is key details. So use the book, you can go back and look if you need to. Go back and, and look at the pictures and have your parents read you parts of the story to help you answer those questions. And I hope that you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy your Friday and we will hopefully see you soon. Bye.